Well, I can't figure it out. <laughs> you can't <even> talk. <laughs> How have you been? I haven't talked to Good. you before I moved. I had we had such a great weekend. It was dear, my Deirdre's 21st birthday and my mother's 92nd birthday. Oh, so we that's had, and my brother and sister came up. So we just had a blast. Yeah, we went to the hockey game, the Sabres and the Rangers. There was 29 of us. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Yeah. Now, does your mom live with you guys? No. So my mom still lives in New Jersey. She has two homes in New Jersey. One up north and one down the shore. But she's 92. She was dancing on the ball, on the tables on Friday night. Oh, my God. That's spectacular. <laughs> yeah. How great. Yeah, yeah. And now she's uh, fixing dinner. <laughs> so. Well, I won't take up too much of your time. I just wanted to talk to you because we haven't done a video in a while. And sometimes I know. People, did you look at Tesla? I did. Well, sometimes people ask me about that video we did. Well, we did a couple videos. It's been a number of years. But sometimes people yeah. say, how's Jackie doing? <laughs> and I haven't featured you for a while. So I said the other way, we have to do a video. We have to do a yes. video. You know? I'm, doing, I'm doing good. I, I just... I think because I don't know how long I've been with you now, Melissa, but I, I want to say, is is it since 2018? It's. I think it could be 16. I want to say even 2016 it might be. And I just, it's I, over five I years. find myself getting insight the longer I'm with you. I mean, I know it's because every time you open the room up, you teach us something. Yeah. But I, I sometimes get feelings about things now, too. No, so you've really had cool. great picks. You have great picks, but you never, you always put them in so late. So like, you, like, you know, I was afraid why? about Tesla this morning. Both, I did want. Schwab yeah. and I did the, I did the spy because you said if you want, but I also did Schwab and I took it down two R's. I know. All, you know I so. know, but actually you did good. So you did that on I your did. own on Friday. You did really good. I did. Yeah. So I'm yeah. hoping April, again, turns out to be a really, really good month because earnings season I is starting so. in a week, you know. I just, I think the market's going to catch up with itself. You know, I think after a while, the jig's going to be up and the market's going to realize that it's been rallying on, on crappy news and yeah. crappy numbers and all for what the Fed's going to do. You know, I, I don't and know. Even today, I don't even know why we ended up falling today. I don't know why. I didn't, I didn't even care because I said I'm not dealing with this. You know, I figured a one, two day rally last week and that was it. I really didn't change. Right anything but again i have no idea where we're falling today but this is the kind of thing we've been dealing with yeah, yeah and, and with the how bad the market's been i i mean calls intimidate me like shorts don't intimidate me yeah. calls intimidate me because you know that it's up on on you know junky stats so yeah. you know at least when we do earnings it's earnings you know yeah but you've been and really you know, good. I noticed you've been great with the picks. So I don't know if you're raining stuff in your own before you come in, but you but you put it in the room so late. So late. <laughs> I, just, I try. Like, so what I try and do is I try and put it in at nine, and then I put a bunch of asterisks after it because I, I'm I'm imagining that everybody is reaching out to you in the mornings. Some people so do, I can understand how things get lost. Yeah, some people do. Some people don't. Some people don't talk at all. I like that you talk. I like that you write comments. You well, know? that's the way I learn. Yeah. You know, with you and with Gyro, that's the way I learn. Yeah, for you know? sure. So what do you think has been the best thing that, you, that, that you've gotten out of the program now that you've been in it for whatever is 2018? I think it was before that, but the five years. Like, what do you think looking back when you first, first started? Because people always ask me this, what's the most difficult thing, you know? And I never know what to say to anyone because I've been doing this for so long. Like, what if you could I, give any advice to somebody since we're doing this video, like, what would you say to people that are new? I would just say... You can't be greedy. Like I always thought, like I could make a thousand dollars in my first week. Now I have a smaller account. Yeah. But I, you know, and I, I set a realistic goal for myself. If I make a hundred dollars a day, and and you have to think of it this way, a hundred dollars a day is five hundred a week. That's and at the end of a month, like so, you have to look at it little, and then okay, a month that's a thousand, and then. A year. It'll be interesting to see going into an election year. They're not going to show the unemployment rate over four percent. I don't know how they're not no. going to, but I don't see them doing that because it'll look really bad going into no. an election year. But I mean, all these people being laid off. It, it's that's why I said I think I think sooner or later it's it's going to hit the fan. And then there was also a, a little piece of news I heard about Russia today that they said they had this Ukrainian town surrounded and that it looked like Russia was going to take it. Well. The market hasn't been reacting too much to Ukraine, but I don't know if they it would react to something like that. 
Well, that's a concern about being overnight and something, if you're in a call, something happens that you can't predict, you don't know about, you have no idea, and then boom, and it hits. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think, you know, and even the Fed, you know, you could be going along and the market could be sailing, <laughs> it's going up, and then all of a sudden, Janet Yellen opens her mouth and boom, like, it doesn't even say much of anything. I know. Ah. <laughs> but I think we've been doing really good finding specific things, but it's like a hundred percent focus. I mean, it's like a thousand percent focus. Like if I look away yeah. for a second, I feel like, you know what I mean? I, mean, I it's like miss the exit. Nine thirty six. We have to be out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Even today, I got out, and then I, and then like right after I, that, it dropped another dollar. But you I never know. know. You never know. I that's know. the thing. Well, that's what happened with us with snow. Remember. Oh, I know, no, I know. we were in, we were in, and, and we were up a lot of money, and then we we, we were waiting for more fall through. And but again, this isn't a normal time right now. That's what I'm saying. No, yeah. it isn't. Yeah. Costco did the same thing. I mean, there were certain ones that dropped a lot. Even, Lu right, Lulu? We're, we've been looking for Lulu. But that's what I try and do. I try and remember the ones that you want to follow. And then, you know, and I, oh, I, I read on the news today about Tesla their deliveries, uh, they were down for deliveries or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said that this morning when I heard that, I said, oh, I said, we should check Tesla. Yeah. And that's why I checked Tesla. And I said, well, it's down. And sometimes things don't have to be down too much, and they go. You know, like, <laughs> even if there's a little bit of resistance, I, I can't get that either. But that's why I said to you in the morning that in the room, I said, Tesla, if you want a short. But then I thought you would look at it and say, okay. Oh, Okay, yeah, it's good to go. Well, I mean, I knew that stock could move, so I knew if we got in and out quick, and we could make a dollar really, 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 yeah. really quick. So that's why I thought if it sets up and goes. But even that, we didn't do right away. We didn't do it right away. And and it was backing up for a while there, yeah, too. Yeah, it was. I, I mean, again, this market, I think, is going to weed out people that don't know what they're doing. It's a take-no-prisoners kind of market. You have to do well, and you have to be focused. And I'm just going to take this opportunity to try to get better. But, I mean, it's it's it's... It's unfortunate because 2022 was a really good year to short everything yeah. we did, whether it was options, whether it was day trade. Some months were better than others, like December was so easy. I thought September was, August August was good. September was a difficult month. But every time then we got back into a groove, it just seemed like it was never ending. And now clearly this is a different market, you know. Yeah, well, I even noticed, so this earnings season, every time... It, they could have terrible earnings and they were down and then it would flip, you know, like it, it wouldn't go the way you'd think it would go. It, or some of them, again, didn't even look like they had earnings. That was like yeah. during COVID. And, and that's just so strange. So, yeah, I mean, that's why I like being in the room. Like, like even, okay, so I'm, I've been doing this since 2016. So you say, oh, I must be able to do it on my own. But, you know, it, it helps with the group of us because yeah. you kind of can bounce things off of each other. And so, you know, and like you were looking at something or somebody's looking at another stock that that got missed by the, you know, the scanners and stuff. So, well, I mean, I, I, I mean, the days that we don't trade, I'm happy to do the lessons, but obviously we want to find something to make money if I can find yes. something that day. But again, I think the room just makes it easier for people because my brain works so fast to see that one minute chart. So I can yep. see if it's going to work or if it's not going to work, if we're off of it or we're on it. And I just think I make it easy for people to to do it, but you but you do have to make sure to size yourself, and then you got to get the right. stop in, which I think takes practice for people after class. But I don't. I mean, I don't think it takes that long to get in a groove of it. I really don't. No, all you have to do is get burned a couple of times, and then you like, especially like if these people don't use stops. Well, I you know. know, I've been really and I never mind bumping the stop up like just five more cents or ten more cents. Like even if even if you don't like. Yeah. Uh, today in Tesla, it was uh, it was two hundred. Oh, I have it right here. Hold on. You said two o two. Well, it was like two o two sixty, and I I had it at two o two eighty. You know what I mean? But twenty so cents. I, so it, you write it down after I call it, or how do you do you do it? As oh, I write it down. I call it, or you write it down it. first. Yes, I write it down. And if if you change it, then I put the line through it, and I I put that so I can see where the stop started. Where, where we wind up having to go, you know, if you have to go five or 10 cents, just be, you know, so it doesn't stop you out. Yeah, that's good. But, you know, you know, not having a stop, I think is, is ridiculous. No, I, I mean, I think that's ridiculous, too. But mm -hmm. anyway, so then do you do you just 
do you just look at your PL when you're up lately now and just get out as soon as you see it hit a certain number, whatever you're Well, usually you'll call a target. So when you say, you said today that we want to take, we want to like get a flush through 199. So when we were here heading towards 198.50, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then it hit 198 and I go, I go you know what? I made one R, I'm good. You know what I yeah, mean? And, yeah. and, and I'm out. Yeah. So when you call that target, I also write that down too. So I write the stop, the entry, and our, our target. And then when it hits that target, like, I, you know, I'm bar by bar. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, that's yep. the other thing I think it makes it easier for the room because I'm doing all those numbers in the morning in the pre-market. Yes. So I have them like in my head, besides writing them down, I have them in my head so people don't have to mess around with that too. Whereas if right. you're doing it on your own, you have to rate it, you have to write all the numbers down, you have to get the entry, you know. Yeah, and, and, and sometimes I, I, I'm getting better where I can just sometimes look at something and, you know, like, you know, BA one day is going to shape up to be a really nice short. I know. <laughs> well, we that one day that it fell over, and then I was yeah. waiting for it, and it backed up, and then I'm glad we didn't do it that one day, and then it went with the yep. market last week. But, yeah, that's another one. I wish we could get into a groove with one thing. It was starting to be Schwab, but now, again, like if we could just get into a groove with one thing that was our side thing. We had that a lot in 2020 and like like just one thing that we could always be the go-to thing like we don't have yeah, which that is right usually now. ba was always yeah. ba you know there was a lot of people that got knocked out of there so i'm you know so it's something i, I always love when we keep an eye on things you know you know like you know, you've been okay, waiting so for meta day, we should make a list where we don't do yep. anything we should make a list of secondary things that's what we should do the next day like, you were waiting for lulu to make a move did lulu make a move yet let's see yeah. Not really. I mean, that that's another good example of something where, again, should have taken off like a rocket, should have gone, could yep. still go tomorrow, but again, again, symptomatic of this market. You know what yep. I mean? And that was NVIDIA as well. Same thing. Yeah, well, that finally yep. did, but it took weeks and weeks, and then I didn't get it. I didn't get yep. it because I just didn't go back into it because I said, forget it. Yep. You know? So, so it's been fun. I, it's been fun to you know and, and then when we finally figured out you know we can't be in longer than five minutes <laughs> <laughs> well you got the whole day to yourself now I mean, oh my gosh it's been awesome yeah i mean you know mom and i were doing a million things and then we're cooking so we're having a good time oh, and she's here till great. after easter yeah so that'll be good so does she drink wine with you uh you know what she loves her manhattans oh my god hard alcohol she loves manhattans uh, like uh, only when we got special, like we don't, you know, not every night. But she, like when we go out uh, to a restaurant, she'll either have a Manhattan or oh, the, uh, the uh, an old fashioned. But they wow. have to have the bada bing cherry. She's very particular. <laughs> How funny! We're already yeah. gonna drink with her and watch the whole news tonight with all the scuttlebutt with the drama with the Trump thing. Well, are you gonna be there tomorrow? Well, protesting? I'm not, I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna go out. I'm obviously Just not don't gonna get go arrested. out at all. <laughs> I'm interested to see if they start blocking off this, some of the streets just because well, they there's don't all want sorts of fences the around there now. Oh, it's it's awful. All things awful. Do you know anybody in the city? That's uh, the no. My my uh, stepsons live in one lives in Queens. No, I don't know anybody in Manhattan anymore. Yeah, because I I mean I I just figured I'm not going out tomorrow. You know what I mean? Oh, but I'm going to see uh. Uh, Sweeney Todd, um, on the 15th. Oh, I didn't hear. Is that good? Josh Groban. Oh. Sweeney Todd is, so that, my parents were big Broadway people. My mother always knew what plays were coming up and what had, a, like, a good, you know, scuttlebutt about them. Well, you'll like have they, to tell me like, if that's any like, good. That's a dark I will, but I want to hear Josh Groban. It's a yeah. dark story, though. That's not one of those It is, I not know. not man or anything. I know. I'll have to tell you, but we're going in the 15th and we're coming home the 16th. I'm so. sure it's going to be great singing. <laughs> yes. I, I like him, so yeah. we'll see. Well, it was great talking to you. Keep in touch yeah. with me. We'll have to do another one of these soon. Yeah, yeah. Season. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been challenging, fun. And like I said, I learn something every day. Every day I'm in the room. Well, that's so. good to hear. That makes me feel like I'm doing something good. Oh, you are. I love, I love when we re-rate things. You know what I mean? Because it makes you think. And I get out my old notes and... So, well, yeah. I love that you have a, a notebook and you write down what I say because that, that really does help you because I do that. I do that for myself. Yep. You know what I mean? I do that for myself every day. I still have notebook after notebook after notebook writing yeah. stuff because 
that helps you, you know, look at it, see it, make it real that, for what you're doing. And, and we're practicing. Like you, you would think, you know, sometimes people think this is all luck, but it's a system and, and it requires practice just yeah. like anything else. Whether you golf, whether you bowl, you know, whether <laughs> you play music, right? You have to practice. Yeah, so. that's right. Bowl, yeah. Yeah, are you, are or you your niece with the dancing. Oh my gosh, I love watching your videos. Oh my niece, yeah, she yes. she was in a show actually at the Lincoln Center on Saturday that my yes. whole family went to see. I don't even know. I didn't even think I posted that whole thing. I posted a different one. That was another one she was in. It looked program. like she had a starring role in it. She I mean, it looked like lead, she was front and center. Yeah, she had a lead. I mean, she's going to end up trying out for the Rockettes. Actually, I I talked <gasps> her into it. I talked to her and I it, and because uh, they lowered the height now, it used to have to be five nine. Now they lower the height. I think it's only five six. So I talked oh, her into good. doing it, and she's like, "Oh my god, it's so many people!" I said, "She she would be a perfect rocket. I mean, she looks yeah. like a rocket. She's tall, thin, beautiful, has a great smile." So well, I have a, I have a nun friend of mine. She's a sister. She's older, mm -hmm. but you know, she has a great story, and she was um, um, in her uh, secular life. She was in the National Ballet Company in Canada. Wow. She, and she was all over the world. And she went to Guadalupe mm -hmm. and saw um, our lady of Guadalupe, saw the Tilma. And she had like a big, like, aha moment. I want to be a nun. Turned so into a nun. Wow. Yeah. I thought, oh, my gosh, sister, you were so talented. I, I, she has no pictures or anything, but... I mean, when you're in a national company, you know, you're, you're good. So. I know, but when you're young, you dance. Like, it's hard on your feet. It's hard on your body. Like, you can't oh, really yes, do it, it is. for so many years. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why yep. they're so young. But I'm I'm excited about it. We'll see where she goes. Oh, so yeah. That's her. amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, break a leg. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She gets to the Rockettes, and you'll have to go see that show. I will. I, def I, I went to see them once. It's funny that you say that. I saw them once when we were little. My parents took us into New York City. One time, and, is that and you, you know what movie I saw? A, a boy named Charlie Brown. Oh my God, how funny! It was at Radio City. It was the Christmas story, you know, uh, and and the Rockettes were there. And your one of your favorites is Charlie Brown. That's so, so funny. Yeah. Well, I never did the backstage tour. They have a tour where you can see old costumes and like oh. that. I'd love to do that. Like some of these touristy things, I've never done. Of course, I'm doing more things now. Like, yes, I'm spending more well, time in the good. park. I'm so, like, just for my mental health, I'm doing it. Do you know get what I mean? out, get the fresh air. I mean, I went to see, in New York City, I went to see the King Tut exhibit when it opened up, back, way back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. My, and my parents were always New York people, like, in. But, in, and, you know, because from New Jersey, you see, you take the train in. And they wouldn't eat in New York because it was too expensive. But they would go to the, um, to a back, take the train back to Newark and eat it in the Portuguese restaurants because oh they were God, always how very funny. reasonable. How funny. Yep. Yep. So. Well, that's wonderful. Yep. Well, have All a right. good day to your mom. Okay, thanks. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Okay, bye.